Alana. Yes. Are you ready for a fragrance battle? I got hair in my eyes always turn over. <laughs> and my little bang in my eye. Alana, are you ready for a fragrance battle? Oh yeah. So we are battling today the parfum versions of Blue de Chanel. And Sauvage. Okay. You ready for this? I don't even know. Alright. Oh, straight on skin. Straight on skin. What do you think of the parfum oh, version like of Blue de Chanel? Mm, I like this. Wait, Chanel, right? Scale of one to ten? Um, maybe like a seven or eight. Okay. Chanel has a very like distinct smell to me, and I like their smell. But every time you smell it, you're like, that's a Chanel. Um, Sauvage. Mm, out of the two, I think I like this one better. I don't know what about that. There's something in there I don't like. So Blue de Chanel you like better because you kind of did one of these. Oh. Yeah, in my mind, this one I like better. This okay. one, in my mind, I had that straightened out. Um, yeah, that one's a little funky. Okay. And so we have it on our other hand, what it smells like once it's been dried down. It's been sitting there for like an hour and a half or so. <laughs> okay. Can we go higher? There. Yeah. Um, okay. It's interesting. Uh, no, I don't like that one. That one's strong. This one doesn't smell strong at all. Like it- It's been sitting there for a while. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still gonna have to go with this one over that one. Okay. The dry down I don't love, but it's, in my opinion, better than that one. So, what would you give both on scales of one to 10? Um, I'm gonna go with uh, maybe like a 7.5. Okay. The initial spray was better, so let's make that an eight, 8.5. Dry down, take a point or a point and a half off. This one, the spray was better, the dry down got worse for me. Um, I'm gonna give that one like a five. Okay. Not a five. All right, Blue de Chanel, the parfum, the winner. Thanks, Alana. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. We're back with Lexi, and we're doing a versus battle today. Uh, we're gonna do Blue de Chanel parfum versus Sauvage parfum. Ooh. So the newest ones, the Parfum version of both ones, and we have it on our skin already for the dry down, and we're going to do an opening take on our skin, and she's going to let us know which one's better. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right. So this is Blue de Chanel Parfum. Okay. Good? It's good. Not my favorite. Okay. Scale of one to ten. Ooh, a two. Two. Sorry. All right. Now. And now the Sauvage parfum. Hmm. I'm trying to figure. Out. I smell like pine or something. Yeah. It's probably a little bit better than this. Still not my favorite. I'd have to smell it. Once it's settled. And we got you covered okay. there. So So what would you score that one just on the opening? Maybe a three. 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 Okay. Yeah. So two and three? Two and three, yeah. Alright, she does not like these two. <laughs> and the settling of Blue de Chanel parfum. It's very subtle now. Yeah. Maybe I just inhaled like a lot of alcohol <laughs> when you sprayed it. It's very I like it a lot more now because I don't smell it as much. I give it a four now. Four. It moved up two points. Yeah. Four? Okay. All right. Another try down. Savage. Hmm. It smells like those car air fresheners. Okay. The tree. The you know. Mm -hmm. The pine air like fresheners. Like a pine saw kind of smelling situation. Yeah. It's. I keep it the and same. The same. Actually. So they're both. Three, four? Yeah. So mine was better on the dry down for you then. Yeah, surprisingly. So, winner versus the two. So here's the opening. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I guess I have to say yours. Blue de Chanel. And initially though, when you first spread it on, it was a lot it was not my favorite. But yeah. now that it's settled a bit, I'd say. All right, okay. Blue de Chanel beats out Sauvage Parfum. Cool, thank you, Lexi. 
Thank you. And today we are joined by the lovely Estrella. Hello. Welcome. What's up? Thank you. So today we have a fragrance battle for yes. you. It's going to be How exciting. Blue de Chanel perfume versus Sauvage perfume, the new release. So these are often compared to each other and the newest one versus last year's big hit release. So you ready to smell? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, which one do you want to go first? Sauvage or blue? I kind of wanted to smell the Sauvage because I've seen Johnny Depp. Yeah. All right, let's represent. go. Let's do this. So completely honest, unbiased. Yeah, I, have, I haven't. I haven't smelled them. You yeah. spray it? Yeah, it's right. We need to spray that again. Yes, yes. See, don't be afraid. If you don't like it, just tell us you don't like it. If you love it, tell us you love it. I'm going to feel really bad if I don't. I already can smell it, like, emitting from you. Okay. It actually smells really, really good. I really like it. Out of 10, what would you give? Maybe maybe a 9, since nine I'm ten. not completely sure. 9 out of 10? 9 out of 10? Okay. Alright. Like Let's try uh, Blue de Chanel now. It smells like Johnny Depp. Alright. What do you think of Blue de Chanel? You know what? I do like it. It would smell good on someone, but it smells like a like a girl kind of perfume. More it feminine. It is definitely a little more basic of a perfume. Okay. Like that one has a distinct smell, and this one it almost smells like you know light blue by Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit, but like in a manly way. Okay. Like the bergamot kind of. I guess I don't really see any difference to light blue, but maybe it's the citrus you're smelling. What's it called again? Blue de Chanel. Ooh, blue, blue. Yeah. It just aquatic. smells like aquatic ocean. Yeah. yeah. And on a scale of one to ten, then. That might be like a six. Six. Exactly. Okay. And then we sprayed it on our other hand a couple hours ago. This is the dry down. Ooh. Let us know what you think of Sauvage once it's been sitting there for a while. Send changes and like your body chemistry kind of reacts differently. Okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It smells very lovely. Better, the worse. Same or, yeah, better, worse. It's a little lighter. I know they, do they kind of change with your chemistry? Yeah, they yeah. do. It smells kind of like. I'm going to know it's settle. Pow like, you know, they, baby powder? More powdery? Yeah, yeah. A little more baby powdery. Okay. And it's then, better or worse, the same? It's, it's still good. It's still good. Still the same? Okay. Yeah. And then blue to Chanel. That one smells better over time. Okay. It smells a little sweeter. It so the dry nice. down, you would prefer blue de Chanel over the Sauvage. Hmm, let me see. Maybe yes, actually. Okay, so then what That's would you fine. give this on a scale of 10 then once it settles? That one I would give it an eight. An eight, and then what about Sauvage once it settles? That one's good too, I don't know. A, a seven? Seven? Yeah, an eight and seven. So, opening, you prefer Sauvage. I like Dry Sauvage. down, you prefer Blue de Chanel. Wow. Cool. Dope. Interesting. Thank you for joining us. I learned so much today. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we are back again with the lovely Chantal, and we are going to be doing a quick battle between Dior Sauvage Parfum and Blue de Chanel Parfum. Ooh. So you're going to let us know which one you like better. Okay. You might like both, but I want you to like, eh, that one's better. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. And we sprayed these on our skin like almost two hours ago now, so. Yeah. But we're gonna give you fresh and then we're gonna give you the dry down. So, do you wanna smell Blue de Chanel or do you wanna smell Sauvage first? I wanna smell that Sauvage. one first. Dior. All right. Dior. Yeah. Okay. Let us know you think. Your Sauvage Parfum. Oh, this smells really good. Um, it smells like older, for older, okay. older men. Okay. Very mature, I like it, I like it. It smells, again, like Polo, like the green bottle. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> I don't see that one, but... Really? <laughs> nope. But hey, it's your nose. <laughs> um, then what do you think of Blue de Chanel Parfum? That smells so good. That smells delicious. I think that's my favorite. So off of the 
opening Chanel. Blue Chanel, Chanel for okay. sure. Amazing. So winner for Blue de Chanel uh, in the openings. Scale one to ten for both. Mm, for Dior, I'll give it like a seven. Okay. It's really good. But mature guys, right? Mature guys. Okay. Mature guys. And then Chanel, I'll give it a ten. I like it a lot. Okay. Cool. And then what's your age range for the Chanel? Younger. 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 Cool. Okay. Yeah. So the dry down now, this has been on our skin for two hours. Let us know what you think. Okay. So the dry down is right here. Like right on my Where, hand. Oh. It's like a very subtle now. It's very subtle. Very subtle, but nice. I like it. It smells clean. Still for like an older, older men, in my opinion. It smells good though. Okay. Now the Chanel. This one's Chanel really wins. Good. Okay. I feel like it got it kind of caught dip, it got different, but it's nice. I love it. I love it. Cool. And right. it didn't wear off that much. So blue to Chanel is your winner. Yeah. The parfum. Yes. Awesome. Parfum. Hi guys, it's Victoria Conifle here, and I'm here to compare blue to Chanel and Sauvage, and let you guys know which one I like more. So this is blue to Chanel. Hmm. I really like that. It's really fresh. The the scent palette is very rich. I feel like it's a deep it's a deep scent. I feel like it'll last a very long time. Yeah, it's very rich. Okay. And then Sauvage. Hmm. I like it, but I feel like this one is a bit more citrusy, a bit more lemony. Almost, almost like the laundry detergent version of Blue de Chanel. So my final answer is I like Blue de Chanel a little bit more. I'm gonna rate this one a, it's an 8.4. And this is a 7.7. .7. Both nice, but I like Blue de Chanel a little bit more. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Ciao. Today we have the legend, Jeremy Fravis. Thank you so much. I'd spin, but there's no room. Yeah, it spins already. We're really shooting good. this a second time. The first take was so funny, guys, but sadly it's not recorded, man. So we're back again with a yes. second take. Yes, here we go. <laughs> and today's video is Blue de Chanel Parfum or Sauvage Parfum? Yes. I want to show you to this, guys. Isn't it fantastic? We're in Los Angeles right here, guys. Here at the Venice Beach, where Arnold Schwarzenegger used to work out. So, yes. <laughs> dinner on uh, the beach. Smells very gorgeous, guys. So, in my opinion, Bleu de Chanel, in general, as a DNA versus a Dior Sauvage DNA, which also counts for Eau de Parfum mm -hmm. versus the Eau de Parfum or Parfum versus Eau de Parfum. To me, the clear winner would be the Bleu de Chanel because it is more timeless. I feel it has more natural ingredients inside. It is one of the last creations by Jacques Polch, the guy who now the son, his son, Olivier Polch is doing the Chanel fragrances. It, to me, if you ask my stomach, my gut feeling, clearly it's the Bleu de Chanel, 100%. Bleu de Chanel. There you That's go. it. You have it from the man, the myth, the legend himself, <laughs> Jeremy Fragrance. Look. Jeff, thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you. All right, see ya.